Greetings art students, Miss Russ here to show you how to complete level A at the Painting Center. As always, let's tilt you down and get started. Oh, I should let you know we have a little, oh, there it is, can you hear that? We have a little bit of a thunderstorm going on. So if you happen to see lightning or hear thunder, just know that's why. All right, let's go. So I am in my sketchbook on a brand new experimentation page. I've written my name at the top and then I am circling painting where I'm also gonna write an A cause I'm on level A. Now when I am done with this, this is gonna be wet. So it might be important that your sketchbook lay open on a drying rack at the end of class rather than go away in its normal spot. All right, what skills do we need to learn? Let's take a look at our level sheet. Whoa, see if Miss Russ can get it in the picture frame. There it is, we're right here. Now if you look, read on your sheet, it says add water to make a painting and take care of art supplies. So let's talk about the take care of art supplies first. Inside our bin, we have brushes. Now we use these at the end, but notice that the hair on the brushes always goes up and it's always dressed. We never want our hairbrush going out without dressed hair and to dress our hairbrush's hair, we make a fist and we just kind of go like this and we pull the bristles in. And then we wouldn't ever put it head down. Instead, we put them head up. All right, we also have what are called watercolor crayons. Now, these can fool you because they look like a crayon, but they do not act like a crayon. They might have the metal on them or they might be broken because sometimes when you're pushing hard, they break in half. Any of that is fine. Okay, let's go down now to showing our learning. So let's look at our resource. We see that step one, we are playing and experimenting with the material. So let's write a number one and let's try some of those experiments we see. We see just lines made and then water was added. And then we see color where water is added. All right, so I'm gonna take my crayon and my watercolor crayon and I'm going to make some lines just like it said and then I'm also going to do some big patches of color. I'm going to push down really hard so that I'm leaving lots of paint because remember this isn't an ordinary crayon. This is a watercolor crayon so I'm adding big splotches and then maybe I'll do some where I don't push as hard. Let's see what happens there. Okay I'm now ready to add water. So when I add water, the trick is to realize the water doesn't have any color in it. The water is only gonna wake up my paint. It is not going to add any color, but let's see what happens if I just put down water. Well, right away, I can start to see the water soak into the paper. Can you see that? It's soaking into the paper and it's actually making my paper a little bit see-through and it's making my paper a little wiggly or a little weak. You can kind of see that it's curling up. So it's important to not just add water for the point of water. We only want to add water where we have paint, which for us is where we have these watercolor crayons. So when I add water to here, oh no, my crayon goes away. And look, there's not enough of it to really make any color. Nothing really happens. So that's important learning number one. We don't want to make lines with watercolor crayons. We want to put down big swatches of color. Okay, let's see what happens when I add a little bit of water. Oh look, it wakes up and now my water is turning orange and that's gonna leave orange paint on my paper. Let's see what happens when I do the purple. Say, look, listen to that rain. Oh, I've made purple paint. Okay, now let's see, does it work if I don't push as hard? Oh, it doesn't. I'm just getting my paper wet, like over here. So it's really important that I push down and leave a lot of the paint material. Okay, let's go back to our resource. I'm now ready for step two, making a mini piece of art. It says I'm gonna plan it, fill it, and then I'm gonna get it wet. Notice my plans, I learned I need to do big areas of color right? Not fine detail. So I make big swatches of color. So I'm going to go ahead and draw my line and it's okay if it's wiggly. I'm going to write a number two 
and then I'm gonna plan out big areas and I can make this look whatever way I want. And then I would fill it in. Now notice, there were no white spots. We wanna make sure this whole area, this is called your picture plane, this whole space has color before we add water. Because once we add water, let's experiment. Oh look, my crayon doesn't work anymore. My crayon only works where it is dry, this watercolor crayon. All right, with that, art students, enjoy learning how to control water and how to take care of your brushes at the Painting Center. Bye.